Hello, my name is Jake Salmon, and my partner name is Emily Lackey, and we're going to take you through the competitive analysis of Shake Shack and Habit Restaurants. Both of these firms compete in the burger and restaurant industry and are heavy hitters in the market. The first aspect of our analysis we will take a look at is the ownership of each firm. Shake Shack has an institutional ownership of 91.57%. A few key investors to take note of are Morgan Stanley, Vanguard Group, and Fidelity Management. Up next, we have Habit Restaurants. If you take a look here, the institution ownership is at 69.88%, almost 70%. Um, Habit Restaurants are owned is institutionally owned by Morgan Stanley, Vanguard Group, and Wells Fargo. These big investment groups are important because when the CEO and executive teams for either Shake Shack or Habit are making decisions, the shareholder's best interest will always be in the CEO and executive team's top priority. The capital structure that is used by the executive team for any corporation is a very important and sensitive decision. This decision will decide on how the company will finance its day-to-day -day operations and can very well impact the future growth of the company in a positive or negative way. In comparison, Shake Shack and Habit Restaurants, the executive team for each company have taken different approaches on the method they have used to finance their business. Shake Shack has taken a subtle approach and maintains a debt ratio of 34% and finances using other means, such as equity and revenue. On the other hand, Habit pays for day-to-day -day business expenses with a 64% debt ratio, and the remaining 40% comes from equity and revenues. In the eyes of the investor, Habit is a little risky because their financing of operations relies heavily on debt. Habit Restaurants currently has a rating of D2, making its default spread 18.6%. Shake Shack has a rating of A1, making its default spread 0.9%. The after-tax cost of debt for Habit Restaurants is currently 14.58% and for Shake Shack it's 1.77%. Shake Shack is the obvious choice here because its cost of debt is not nearly as risky as Habit Restaurants. As shown in the tables on the screen, Shake Shack has a current cost of equity at 7.21% and Habit has a current cost of equity at 6.15% using the capital asset pricing model. Based on the unleveraged beta calculated in the regression model, we would choose Shake Shack over Habit Restaurants. The reason for this is that the beta for Habit Restaurants at 0.825 is lower than the market and also less risky. However, Shake Shack at a beta 1.23 is more risky but creates more return than the market. Cost of capital is a very important figure for a company. Cost of capital includes the cost of debt and equity. In other words, what is the firm's finances that run the company? As mentioned earlier, the cost of debt uh, for Shake Shack is at 1.5% and the cost of equity is at 10.27%. Uh, Using Demodaron's model, we calculated the weighted average cost of capital to be 7.38%. On the contrary, Habit Burger stood at 1.37% cost of debt and maintained a 6.82% cost of equity. Again, using DeMonteron's model, the weighted average cost of capital we calculated to be 11.9%. Typically, newer firms should have a higher weighted average cost of capital, but in the case of Shake Shack, actually has a lower one compared to Habit. This may be because Shake Shack does not have an immediately, immediate large amount of debt that they are using to finance operations and projects, unlike its competitor Habit, that relies heavily on debt to finance as a company. While too much debt can create unnecessary risk, there is an optimal level that firms can try to achieve. A couple of advantages are tax savings from interest, increased re returns through an increased beta, an increased firm value, and a higher priority to fulfill debt obligations. A couple of the disadvantages include a higher risk of default, a larger mandatory payments, increased interest rates, and a loss of control of the assets. In order to calculate the fair value of each of the firms, we use the intrinsic value and the DCF value, as well as we use the EBITDA multiples to ensure that we had correct values. 
the average value we found for Shake Shack is $30.18 and the average value we found for Habit Restaurants is $8.41. Currently the stock price for Shake Shack at the time of the valuation was $35.79. Not too far off from the average value we found, but it is a little bit overvalued in our opinion. Habit Restaurants also is overval overvalued with a stock price at $17.25 and an average value at $8.41. In conclusion, we would advise investors to choose Shake Shack over Habit restaurants based on the capital structure, beta, growth trends, and valuation models. In each of these categories, Shake Shack proved to have stronger future cash flows and future growth. The main problem we see with Habit's capital structure is that its debt exceeds its ability to provide achievable gains. Thank you.